COVID-19 pandemic continues, so does the impact it's having on area nonprofits as they try to raise money for their organizations. 13 News reporter Mary Sugden spoke to two nonprofits who are thinking outside the box. In a normal year, Remedies Renewing Lives would have a golf outing and a gala to raise crucial funds. Between the two events, we're usually talking somewhere around 100 $30,000. But COVID-19 has canceled both of those events that typically bring in more than $100,000. Money that's key to the organization securing more federal and state funding. A lot of these funds that we get, we have to come up with up to a 25% match. So reality is if, if we raise $100,000 in fundraising, it's more like $400,000. So without, without the match, uh, if we can't get state and federal dollars. So this year, Remedies is moving its fundraising online with the campaign officially starting August 3rd, but that doesn't mean you have to wait to give. So people have actually, we've actually had a couple calls today where people made donations. For the United Way of Rock River Valley, this year is a major milestone as it prepared to celebrate its 100th year with a major gala in April, which has been canceled. But that's when restaurateur Paul Sletton came up with an idea. He was going to be a guest at, at the gala and he's like, you know, restaurants were really struggling. As we know, the restaurant industry has been hit really hard. If you would like to do the gala and reimagine it, they would like to do it. Now the reunited event will be spread out across 11 venues with 50 or fewer attendees. We can still gather 500 people, but not all in the same place. The August 15th event will be a win-win, not only helping the United Way, but restaurants, which have had a difficult season amid COVID-19. We're really excited about it because it's like, wow, this is really cool. We can still be together, um, but safely, and we can help out the restaurants. So while it's not the fundraisers originally planned, these nonprofits say the goal of helping those in need is still on track. For your 13 Weather Authority, Mary Sugden, 13 News. And we have information on how you can support each of these events. It's on our